last week it was 40 degrees this week today it's 80 Ohio is a godless void Anyway, I have some channel updates. So I've been doing this YouTube experimenting thing for a few months now and I started getting more into YouTube because I was tired of being on Instagram and TikTok for various social media reasons. In short, I have a blog post about why it is that I left Instagram and a lot of those reasons are also why I left TikTok. With the exception of one thing. One of my Instagram accounts had been hacked previously. To my knowledge, my TikTok has not been hacked. Knock on wood. That said, I'm not too keen on going back to Instagram. Not really looking to go back to TikTok. Both of those apps have been uninstalled from my phone. The only social media that I engage with anymore is YouTube. And I'm going to approach it differently because I had an epiphany when I went yesterday. It was yesterday. I had to go get my bike from the shop because I ha was in a little bit of a bike accident. Scraped my knee, it was awful. Uh, I had to take the bike into the shop because, I mean, the front wheel had been buggered for a while. The back tire got a leak, a slow leak. So I was just like, I'm just gonna take this into the shop and and get it fixed. Got it back yesterday, thank goodness. But as I was riding my bike back from the shop, one, that is why I have this sunburn. I am my mother's child. My mom and I get sunburns right in here in the most inconvenient place. Aloe vera, my old friend. I have to apply you on me again. I think that's about all that I can use with that song before I get copyright struck. I've been getting a lot of copyright strikes even though the music that I'm using is supposed to be royalty free. Pixabay, I have questions. Anyway, I was walking back from getting my bike against the wind and I was like, I'm not riding my bike against the wind, I'm just gonna walk this thing. And as I was walking, I was thinking a lot about a lot of my favorite YouTubers. Super Eye Patchwolf, ProZD, Kathleen Illustrated, Shannon Makes, uh, Jenna Phipps, Lit by Five, and a few other ones. And I realized something which was this. Take the phrase going viral and replace going viral with become popular. Anytime that people online are talking about going viral, they're talking about becoming popular. Here's the problem with that though. You don't become popular by catering to a machine. Why are you relying on an algorithm or a machine to tell you how to become popular? And there could be some people that are like, well, if I reach a certain threshold, I can get monetized, which fair. It's one of the reasons why I'm trying to reach like 5,000 subscribers because that's like the minimum threshold that you need to get monetized. But I'm not on YouTube to become internet famous. I don't want a million subs. Please. I don't need to be like hugely famous. I have hugely famous family members and they're all insufferable assholes. I don't want to be an insufferable asshole, okay? I still want to be me. But to be me, I don't want to be hugely popular. I just want to be like comfortably in a niche, you know? And to that extent, I was thinking about how I got into comics because that's my job. My job is making comics. YouTube is a side thing for me. And honestly, thank goodness for that because if YouTube was my full-time job, Look, I'm neurotic enough. I don't need further neuroses. <laughs> My job is making art and making comics. YouTube is a side thing and I wanna keep it a side thing, but you know, I'm not gonna be opposed if the side thing starts making money on its own. It's a situation that Star has, which, you know, Good on you, girl. Proud of you. You do that hustle. But I was thinking about Star, too, on that walk back home because she is also a webcomic artist, which is the same field that I am in. And I'm glad that she is doing, like, tutorial videos and the kind of videos that people say will get you viral with, like, the custom thumbnails and the catchy titles and all that stuff. I'm glad that she's doing that so that I don't have to. <laughs> Here's where this is 
going to like this is where the bridge is going because this is how my my thoughts work i have to build bridges to connect the thoughts so thinking about how it is that some of the, my favorite YouTubers got popular, like Overly Sarcastic Productions, ProZD, all those folks. They did not get popular by tailoring themselves to an algorithm. They got popular by making the stuff that they wanted to make. And the people who liked their stuff found their stuff, resonated with it, and shared it with their friends. And honestly, that's how I would want this channel to grow. My eyelashes have been shutting a lot today. I have no idea why. You would think that with the heat, my hair would want to stay on, but maybe it's just so hot that my hair is just like, nah. Here's the other thing too, is that I know that my YouTube channel is small. I've actually been online for over a decade. Like I got my start making the webcomic validation with CB as the writer. I also did other webcomics, Johnson and Sir, Thoughtful Dinosaur, Charlie and Clout, The Case of the Wendigo, which is being reposted again on Tapas, by the way. The Legend of Jamie Roberts. I've done a ton of comics. For heckin' sake, I have a short story coming out in an anthology by Iron Circus. And in this anthology is H Bomber Guy, another YouTuber whom I like to watch and whom I respect. And that is, one, I'm so glad for that weird coincidence in my life. Not for working with H Bomber Guy, that's really cool, but because I've been wanting to work with Iron Circus Comics for years, and I'm so glad that that finally happened. Anyway, that's a side tangent. Here's where I'm at though, which is that I've been making comics long enough that I'm like, hey, how about I take my comics making ethos and I carry it over to what I'm doing with YouTube? And my ethos with making comics is I'm going to make the comics that I would want to read because the kind of comics that I would want to read as a reader are a niche that I'm not seeing a ton of other people make, which is why I have a webcomic about genderqueer pirates, treasure hunting in a land full of dragons, and a lot of the aesthetics are inspired by African and Native American art history. But this is also why I made Charlie and Clow and the Case of the Wendigo is I wanted to make a comic that was like, what if supernatural, but led by a black woman instead of two white guys? <laughs> and that's that sort of thing. Like those are the comics that I, as the reader, would want to read. So then I was like, well, what do I, as a YouTube viewer, like to watch that I'm not seeing a ton of. And here's the thing. I brought up Star earlier, AKA the Starfish Face. And I'm glad that she's doing the kind of videos that she does. However, she is also a webcomic artist, but she's not talking a whole ton about the day-to-day -day behind the scenes stuff. And that's the kind of stuff that I would want to watch. So that's the kind of stuff that I want to make moving forward. I mean, the regular YouTube video updates were already kind of like every week or every other week. It's probably going to be more every other week or maybe even once a month because I do want to put a little bit more effort into the standalone videos. I still want to do live streams and I'll get to that in a second. The shorts. I want to engage with shorts in my own way because I know that YouTube as a platform is really trying to push shorts. That's because the internet at large is trying to push shorts, but nobody really knows how to make shorts work. So if I'm going to make shorts, it's going to be the kind of shorts that I would want to watch that I want to make. That's all that's going to come down to. With the live streams, I'm still going to do live streams when I feel up for it and have the energy for it. Because with live streams, I want to show the behind the scenes art making of what goes into a comic page or whatever project I'm working on in that live stream. Like I want to show the behind the scenes and have you with me in the studio as I work on it. Also, I have a lot of friends and family members with ADHD and sometimes they just need a body double. Somebody to like work alongside with them as they are doing stuff. And if my live streams are a good way for you to have that body double moment, by all means, go for it. Like my live streams are there for you to like have on in the background while you are doing other stuff, if that helps you. I find it helpful as a way to hold myself accountable to be like, 
I told myself that I would get this particular page done. This live stream is going to help me get that page done. So that's why I am still going to do live streams, but I'm going to do live streams on my own schedule, largely Tuesdays and Thursdays, unless on a particular day, I just don't feel like it or something happened or more than likely in June, it's going to be because of conventions. <laughs> anyway, that's how I'm going to handle live streams. And for videos, I'm thinking I'm just going to make the kind of stuff that I would want to watch as a viewer, which is the like behind the scenes day to day stuff, kind of like a mashup of like Kate Cavanaugh, Little Tiny Egg, the Starfish Face and Kathleen Illustrated, <laughs> because those are some of my favorites, but I don't want to be like derivative of all of those channels. I still want to be me. I still want to be making the kind of stuff that I would want to watch. It just so happens that I like watching these YouTubers. <laughs> that said, I'm like, hey, how about I just show the the behind the scenes stuff of what it's like to be a comic artist slash artist, maybe not necessarily the day to day because the day to day changes like every day. So maybe like a week in the life of kind of videos. I know Little Tiny Egg has done videos like that and I'm like, how about that? Cause I know that there are some fans of mine carried over from the comic reader side of things who would love to see that kind of stuff. And I want to share that kind of stuff. Like art projects, I still want to share those. I want to share an art project from start to finish. That sort of thing. I would love to do that sort of thing. So that's what I'm going to do with this YouTube channel. And because my battery is almost dying, I'm just going to go ahead and wrap the video up here. I'm not even going to do the traditional YouTube sign out. I just don't feel like it's necessary. I hope you stick around for future videos. I'm actually really excited for what's coming up next. So I hope you stick around. Thank you so much for watching. You are awesome.